Well, as of this video launching, Christmas 2023? I don't even know what year it is. Christmas this year is over. So sad. No more presents. But we can always reminisce. So today, let's look back at my favorite presents to myself in 2023. It is 23, right? Hey, my name is Mr. X. Welcome to the Extreme Channel. We are giving away $1,000 statues to you guys. If you want to know how to win one, stay tuned for later in the video. Hey, thank you so much for tuning into the Extreme Channel. Today is a very special day. I won't let Christmas die, but this is the second video of many videos that we do at the end of the year, the beginning of the year. This is about a countdown, another countdown of the absolute best statues that arrived in 2023. And because that can mean a whole gambit of things, we have a few um, stipulations, requirements, rules, categories. I'm tired. All I wanted for Christmas was sleep and I didn't get it. To narrow this down, we're just gonna look at the top 10 statues counting from number 10 all the way down to number one from licensed companies only today. That's right, it's only from companies like PCS or Queen Studios, Sideshow Collectibles, Prime One, XM, Infinity Studios. Don't worry, in two days, we're gonna look at the private unlicensed commissions or the customs, which is the majority of my collection. Now, if you've watched my videos before, you may know that I always say I'm a big believer, you have to see a statue in person to properly judge it. So unfortunately, for the purposes of this countdown, these are only statues that have been on this table that arrived and came out in 2023. And again, a little bit of variance. Sometimes a statue will start shipping like at the end of one year, but then get there the following year. Case in point, there's gonna be a statue that we talk about in the first week of January where we talk about the most anticipated statues of 2024 that just started shipping to China, but hasn't hit anybody in the States yet. And it's gonna fall on that most anticipated statue list. Now again, this is just my opinion based off of seeing these in person. And it involves everything, concept, paint, sculpt, pose, execution, badassery. I take that back. It doesn't involve one thing. It doesn't involve presence. Notice anytime anybody uses the word presence on a statue, they're just talking about how big it is. Just say it's a big statue. Bah humbug already, right? Again, so this is my list based off my subjective, sometimes objective, I guess you can't have an objective opinion, but most of this is subjectivity. A little bit of it is objectivity. Another thing I don't include is I don't include price or value. Although that is a more and more important factor, especially as one bag of groceries now costs like $100. So before I throw my list, why don't you put your top two or three in the comments below? I ask you to do that because I love to see your guys' opinion. I love to interact with you. But most importantly, you could win a statue with that comment. As we try to grow this channel, we like to reward you guys for watching and subscribing. So because of that, every 5,000 milestone when it comes to subscribers, we give away a couple thousand dollars worth of statues. We've actually given away over 20 statues. To win one is easy. First, you gotta be subscribed to the channel. You'll get bell notifications when videos drop. Each video that drops, you wanna make a comment on those videos. We pick a random video, we give away statues. Based on a comment, you can say whatever you want. The more videos you comment on, the higher your chances are to win. All right, so I'm gonna show the thumbnails from the videos I've done on all these videos as we count it down. And the reason I do that is to let you know there's a video on it that you could go to and actually watch in more detail if you haven't seen it. But with no further bullshitting, let's just start with number 10, and that was definitely Prime One Studios Justice Buster. Now this was one of my most anticipated statues, and I'm not saying it didn't live to expectations, it's still one of the 10 best statues of the year, but it is crazy, crazy big has so many cool different things with it, but there are better ones that we're gonna talk about that are more simple and obviously a lot cheaper, even though we're not counting price. One of those is number nine, Queen Studios Batman on Throne. Albeit it's an elaborate throne without a doubt, I really like this piece. In fact, I was planning on selling it and when I put it on the table to actually box it up, I just couldn't bring myself to do it. I know it doesn't make sense. This is from the Dark Knight Metal storyline, which I think is a great conceptual storyline, but bad execution. And for the record, I didn't really see this. This is off of a Capullo slab cover, which I definitely need to pick up to pair with it. But this comes in at number nine by Queen Studios. Number eight is one a lot of people disagree with me. Another one from the Dark Knight Metal line, but this one is made by Prime One Studio. 
So this is Red Death, one-third scale. This is a version of Bruce Wayne where he actually got the Speed Force and he turned evil for a little bit and then he turned back good and evil. But uh, I really like this piece. It's one of my favorites in the Dark Knight Metal line. Not the absolute favorite because coming up you'll see one that beat it this year. And then of course I still think their Batman Who Laughs is the best in the line. Number seven is one I made a mistake on. This is Queen Studios Balrog. So I say this is life size. Go back and watch that review. Uh, you can see Todd from Spec Fiction with me here in it. It won't fit through the door. So it's stuck in a room that it doesn't belong. And I have to figure that out still. Yes, like four or five months later. But amazing piece. Nonetheless, especially with the light-up feature. The light-up feature takes it to the next level. Great Halloween piece, if you will, but very cool piece in general, especially the fact that it's, uh, in my opinion, life-size, what it probably would have been. Number six is one I don't own, but I got to put on the table. This is Legendary Beast Studios one-third scale Hulk. Awesome, awesome piece for sure. I think this is one of the best Hulk statues. I don't think it is the best Hulk statue out there, but absolutely amazing. I wish I had the room to uh, get all these one-third scale Marvel pieces from LBS because they continue to knock it out of the park. Five is one that I think this character, Penguin, I think he's hard to get wrong because there's so many great Penguin statues out there. Let me rephrase that. There's not a lot of Penguin statues out there, but all of them seem great. And that is definitely the case with Prime One Studios one-third scale Faybach pen Penguin right here. I believe it's by Faybach. Very cool piece. Love the different switch outs. Wish I could display multiple ones. Looks great with any one-third scale DC collection. He comes in at number five. Number four is that other Dark Knight metal piece. This is Prime One Studios Batman vs. Joker, Joker Dragon. Kind of a medieval Batman, if you will, in armor. This looks absolutely amazing. Still very cool to this day. It doesn't go with the rest of the line, but that doesn't take away how badass it is. The Joker Dragon itself is worth a spot on this top 10 list, but the Batman is also incredibly well done for sure. Now, as we narrow into the top three here, I'm gonna let you know you saw a lot of Prime One Studio pieces. They're in the top three as well. Uh, in my opinion, they've been the best in the game for two or three years. I am really shocked that there's no XM Studios on my list this year. There are some in the anticipated list that you'll see uh, in about a week from now or so. But starting with number three, this one really surprised me. So this is uh, Prime One Joker uh, on Throne, if you will. And I'm going to say this one wouldn't have gotten number three by itself if it didn't have this awesome companion piece of Punchline. So it's really a combination. It took two statues to get that high. But they are so impressive. This is probably my favorite regular Joker statue moving forward. I'm a big fan of this guy. It's done so well. He looks so evil, so maniacal. He's definitely the perfect Joker for me. Number two, I don't know if this could be counted, but I'm counting it. It's the reissue of their Prime One Studio Big Chap Alien. You know, what's funny is the day after I reviewed this, I actually had my wait list convert on the original one with the wall. But this is so well done. I can't compare it to the original one, but I really like it. One of the most impressive Alien pieces, which shouldn't be surprising. I remember one year, uh, I think their Alien piece, I think three years ago on this countdown, actually won number one. So that leaves me to the final piece, and I really didn't want to put this one in the countdown, but it's number one. You know, I actually went through the licensed pieces, both uh, ones I did videos on, then I walked around the collection room a little bit. And this impresses me to this day, despite some minor flaws with it. And it's so ridiculous and stupidly big, but I can't wait for the companion pieces that should be on the anticipated list in a few days. That's right, none other than Prime One Studios One Third Scale Jungle Hunter Predator. They really killed it with this. This is absolutely fantastic. Predator is one of the coolest creatures out there. Props to Stan Winston for sure. And they captured it well. Again, some things I would fix on this. How big it is is just stupid. The number of switch outs is just stupid. But it doesn't mean it wasn't the best statue of the year. That's going to be a hard contender even for a custom statue to beat. In fact, I'm going to say that's probably better than any of the custom statues we're going to go through. That would be my statue of the year if we actually had that award. But we don't. We do have these stupid statue awards we recently did a few days ago. So make sure to check those out. Hey, thanks for tuning in. Make sure you're subscribed because this is uh, one of about six more videos that we do at the end slash beginning of the year every year. And it's some really fun stuff, at least for me. It's not that fun, but just subscribe and hit like.